What is up guys, you're watching BlastAway.eu and in today's video we are talking about the JSPB Pro 2 Lawn Scar. JSPB is a Taiwanese company and they have been in the business for a couple years now and this is basically one of the latest iterations of their own take of a dart blaster. Unlike the main sources of power to propel foam through the air, um, which are spring powered or flywheel technology, JSPP is actually relying on air pressure. Down here we have the pump, which puts like the air into this air tank and when you pull the trigger, the pressure will be released and propels your dart in our case. The main advantage is that it is pretty silent and in terms of power, with this one you can get around 130 FPS per shot. Back here we have the loading door and this one holds up to four standard size darts, which is not much by any means, but the main selling point of this blaster is actually the high level of accuracy. And the secret behind the accuracy is actually hidden in the barrel. Don't know if you can see it, but the barrel is threaded with six strings, which works like a inner rifling of a standard barrel. So when the projectile runs through the barrel, it gets a spin and actually increases the accuracy because it has better aerodynamics. So let me try to visualize this effect. Here we have three darts and I have drawn a black line onto it and I will put it in like this, which is the, let's say, three o'clock position. If I push it down now, you're going to see that the whole dart thing is going to turn by 45 degrees. So now it's at the six o'clock position. I've also tried to capture this effect with this short video, but because of the high velocity, it's really hard to capture it actually on camera, especially if you only have up to 120 frames per second. But nevertheless, you can still kind of see it. At the moment the dart leaves the barrel, you see the black line on the dart being like distorted which basically happens because of the rotation. And also here at this frame, you see the black line is completely gone, which means it's on the other side, and then it comes back again. So with standard elite darts like this one, which have this air hole in the head, the dart itself does spin that way when it leaves the barrel. Typically they move into the spiral motion, which is still way more accurate than just moving to the right or left, which they especially tend to do when they are propelled with more power. This circumstance actually gets better when you use half length darts, which this blaster can hold up to eight ones. Simple math. <laughs> The only downside with short length darts is that sometimes it shoots two instead of one at the same time. Going back to the performance of this blaster, as I already mentioned, you can get around 130 feet per second. And because of that, it's actually really possible to hit something up to, I don't know, 45, 50 feet because you're still going to feel it. If you take the rival blasters, for example, they don't even reach that far. At the same time, if you talk about hitting something at over 40 feet it's really not only up to the blaster or dart anymore because you know something the size of a, a human's head at the range of 40 feet it's only like this big so a slight deviation of your aiming will result in not hitting your target in the end 
That being said, I think the waffle head darts work best with this blaster since they are already more accurate on their own, but because of the high power behind them, the combination of these waffle heads and the scar barrel are really beneficial when using a high powered blaster like this one. It's recommended to use three or four pumps. The fifth one is also already really hard and you shouldn't like overdo it in case you don't want to break it. Since most parts of this blaster are 3D printed, I have to say that the print quality is really nice. The finish is rather smooth. If you have like a few spots that kind of annoy you because they scratch into your skin like over here i just put a drop of hot glue onto it so it won't like annoy me anymore the one thing you should check when you receive this blaster especially when it's pre-assembled that you check out the air tank right here that it is really threaded together properly so it won't leak and lose any air pressure so just a fyi this pair of iron sides is not included in the blaster this was made by ari armory from germany i have mentioned him in a lot of videos but just in case i leave the link in the description box below and of course also for this whole blaster you can buy it pre-assembled or like assemble it yourself it makes i think a difference of 20 us dollars definitely check out jspb's website and facebook page i leave the links in the description box below and if you are more into competitive nerfing and you know it's not really about looking like epic or whatever this is probably one of the best blasters to get like out of the box which are going to help you actually winning nerf games one last thing i forgot to mention is that this version actually works like this that the second tube down here helps to put up the loaded darts so you don't have to dip down the blaster every time you are shooting which you typically have to do when you use inline clip systems definitely let me know what you think about a blaster like this do you like it would you consider buying one of these or do you prefer something like let's say the modulus from nerf itself thanks for watching and i see you next time